Hey guys, it's Izzy from Endless RVing and the purpose of today's video is to give you a tour of our 2019 Newmar Base Star. We're going away to get your back, check the tag. Decision is made. Lock your door, need no more. It's already paid. I cancel your mail for a while. It's a journey for life and I'm So we purchased this uh Back in, we, we picked it up actually in February, but we had purchased it in September. We had it custom built the way we wanted from Newmar. That was one of the reasons why we went to Newmar. We had kind of narrowed it down to uh, Tiffin and Newmar, but we just really liked the, um, the floor plan and the ability to customize it the way we wanted. So like I said earlier, it's a 2019 Newmar Base Star. It models a 3626, and there's a couple of reasons why we liked it. I'll get into that, but I'm gonna do a quick uh, walk around and show you the outside. So the Newmar, it's uh, powered by, this is a gas coach, this is powered by a Ford V10 motor. Uh, tried and true, it's been around forever. It's a six speed uh, transmission. It measures uh, 36 feet and 11 inches in length. So you'll see me oftentimes refer to it as 37 feet because to me that's 37 feet, 36, 11 is close enough. Um, over here you have a uh, one long wall slide on the front and then you have on the driver's side a secondary slide in the bedroom so this is going to this slide will open up and uh, it will have part of the living room as well as the uh, residential refrigerator and the kitchen and then the back slide is going to be uh, part of the bedroom where the cabinets are so one of the reasons why we went with this uh, model it's on the ford uh, 24,000 pound chassis what that allows is um, we we are on 22 and a half inch Alcoa wheels. Uh, these are commercial grade wheels, the same that you would see on a on a tractor trailer. Um, it, it allows for better handling. It's running on 255, 80, 22 and a half inch uh, Michelin tires, which will be nice to replace because they're like five or six hundred dollars each. But we're good right now for at least the first five years. Over the uh, first slide here, um, we have a remote control. You can open up the awning. And we have the air running right now, so you can see the condensation coming off. You can see the coverage on the awning. Uh, this will give you full coverage for the, uh, the outside compartments here, as well as the outdoor entertainment. So come along with me. So being that it's a gas coach, um, we don't have pass-through storage. And there's a couple of reasons we want with the gas coach. We'll cover that in another video. Um, but that doesn't mean that there's not storage here. We, we have a lot of storage, and I'm gonna show you that right now. So I'll open up all these compartments. So as you can see here, you have a long storage also, although it's not a true pass-through, you have the drivetrain running through there. You do have up above that drivetrain, it's boxed off. So you do have pass-through on the top here. Uh, here's another compartment. This doesn't have the pass-through. This one houses our uh, fresh water tank. I believe it's a 75 gallon fresh water. 42 gallon black and 42 gallon gray. Here's some tools I keep on board. We have another uh, nice storage here. There's a pump that it, for the sink. So actually any um, water, gray water goes into the sink, gets pumped out into the uh, gray water tank. Uh, Newmar is known for their construction quality. That was the second reason why we went with Newmar um, versus some other brands out there. Newmar actually is one of the few manufacturers that does an, an actual hung wall. So their walls, they, they're not laminated. These are not uh, laminated, vacuum laminated walls. Not that that's anything wrong with vacuum laminated, but these are certainly a little better made. Um, they also have residential insulation in it as well as foam insulation. Out here we have uh, out outdoor television. Uh, I believe this is like 30 inches, 32 inches, I'm not quite sure. 
the doors on the uh, the bay doors are they're thick they're well insulated and you really got to slam them down if you just give it a little you really have to give it a little authority to get it to close and they're all on gas arms so they stay open We chose this color scheme. Um, it's a little different, I think. I haven't seen any of them on the road. I've seen a couple online, but we wanted something out of the uh, the usual beige uh, color schemes that are out there. So I, I thought this went nice. I like the uh, the black with the silver. MJ didn't at first, but after we it actually showed up, she liked it. So you have another bay door here. Um, plenty of storage here. I keep our griddle here. Look over get into this over here you see there's another pass through which we're not even using right now so there's plenty of room in there also you have um there's your black tank these are actually uh numar does their sensors outside the tank so what that allows is a you're not drilling into the tank to put sensors and b uh, those sensors shouldn't get um, clogged up with what goes on in the black tank because the sensors on the outside so you should always get an accurate reading at least that's what i was told and it's been good so far Another pass-through storage. Got the gearing for the uh, for the slide there. And then we have another storage that goes up and over. We keep our, our lawn chairs and our external antenna for the internet there. We'll come around the back. There is a towing hitch on here. It's rated for 5,000 pounds. Um, we're not towing yet, but it's, it's ample for what we have. Uh, we also have it opted for the external ladder because I'm up on the roof all the time doing the maintenance. Um, if you're going to get a leak in an RV, it's more than likely going to be from your roof. Uh, so I'm up there, you know, weekly checking the seams, cleaning, making sure everything is uh, kosher up there. You got a rear view camera uh, that allows us to see um, via our, uh, the radio inside. You have uh, access when you put it in reverse. And also you can, when you're driving, you could see behind you. Also, another thing that we really liked was the, uh, the bedroom window, which is nice. Depending on the campground you're on, um, you could have a nice view in the morning uh, from the back. So over on the driver's side of the rig, you have your 50 amp hookup. Uh, one thing I wish we had, I, I really wish we had an electric um, power cable reeling that would make life a lot easier. I'm thinking about installing one. But this works as a built-in um, surge protector, which you keep there. A lot of room here. You see the antenna that I have from a previous video, if you want to tune into that one. Um, and then we also have, I added a second surge guard. I'd rather have this surge guard go bad externally. This is cheap to replace versus burning up the one on the rig. Here's where we keep our all our... Um, water as far as hoses and and sewer supplies we keep them in here this is where you keep your sewer hose it's a compartment for it, gas here's your wet bay so here you have an outdoor shower you have your um fresh water hookup your um black tank flush and then for people that are not familiar with the black tank flush what that does is you hook up the water source to that and once you turn it on there's, from what I'm told, there's a, a nozzle that spins inside that black tank and it, it kicks up and loosens up whatever you could imagine remnants is left in that black water tank when you're flushing out. Here's your flush, uh, your outlet to flush. You got your uh, gray lever, your black lever. You guys are watching this video, you're probably familiar with that. There's one other thing, so the controller, external controller, which is nice. If you want to run the water pump, there's actually three switches. There's a switch right here. There's going to be a switch in the kitchen and there's a switch in the bathroom. All three of them will turn the water pump on and off. You also have, um, you can fill your fresh water tank from here and also your city. So it's the same input. You hook up your hose here. If you flip this lever down, it's going to fill up your, um, your tanks. If you flip it up, you're going to be on city water. It's going to pressurize the system to run off of, uh, your city water comes standard with a six gallon hot water heater 
we're upgrading that in September. We're going to go with the, uh, the Truma Aqua Go, the uh, tankless. But this has worked pretty good. Um, even though it's six gallons, I've taken showers for about seven minutes really with no issues. So I think you combine that with an Oxygenetics uh, shower head and help conserve water and you should be fine. Another storage, we just keep some chocks and uh, some levels if needed. It also houses the water pump is in there. So let's keep some gloves in there. I believe yeah, this is the other side of the fresh water tank. And then this is going to be your uh, fresh water tank dump. There's still a little bit of water in there. But uh, you want to dump your fresh water tank. That's how you do it right there. Now the storage. See, there's plenty of room. We do carry some stuff with us. 5,500 watt Onan, Cummings Onan generator. It's run on gas. Um, this thing's easy to service. I'll be doing a video on how to do the oil change on it. But basically you can take this cover right off and you have access to uh, whatever you need. If you need to change the gas filter, clean the uh, air filter, change the oils right here. Here's your hour meter. Anybody that's familiar with the generators, you gotta change them. About every 150 hours, you gotta change the oil. Battery tray. This was a nice little option that I didn't see on many motorhomes. Um, you have a battery tray here. This coach, we want the residential uh, refrigerator. So with that, uh, there's four batteries on here. And you roll them out. I need to do any maintenance on the batteries. Eventually we'll probably be upgrading to uh, something that's not liquid that I have to maintain, but four batteries in here. Roll it in, roll it out, no problem. Then it has a little locking mechanism with pins here. So this thing doesn't go wacky while we're driving. Last compartment, you notice it doesn't have a lock on it. That's going to be our propane. I believe that's a 28 gallon. I could be wrong. Leave it in the comments if I am. I won't be the first time I'm wrong. But that's a 28 gallon propane tank. That's going to run our furnace when it's needed. And it's also going to run our, our uh, stove. We have uh, two 15,000 uh, BTU uh, Dometic air conditioners up top. There's two zones inside. Those air conditioners also have heat pumps. Um, we've been out when it's actually 38 degrees. Those heat pumps are still putting out heat. There was only one time. We're not full timers, uh, but we, we do go out when it's cold. There was one time when we had to kick on the furnace, and it, I think it was like 31 degrees out kicked on the furnace it was uh, 72 inside within minutes so the the furnace works really well the heat pumps work really well if you're a three season person you don't even have to touch the furnace on that propane so just take a shot up front here you can see it all closed up 102 inches wide uh, it's your standard you know wide body motorhome size take a good look we're gonna uh, go inside, we're gonna show you everything closed up. And then after that, we're gonna open everything up and just show you how it really looks when you're set up camping. Before we go in, one thing I forgot to mention, um, power steps, three steps, open up the door, they come out, which is nice, they get pretty low, so there's three steps. Um, there's a switch inside, you can hit the step button. And if you set up on camp, once you hit that step button, what it does, it, it cuts that feature off. So every time you open and close the door, the step is not going up and down. Uh, once you turn the ignition on, that step's gonna go automatically up. Hey guys, so we're back inside. This is what it's gonna look like when you're traveling down the road, obviously without all the lights on. But uh, you can see, there, this, this is another attraction to us on this floor plan. Uh, some of these rigs out there, they're real tight inside. Um, but with this, I mean, you could walk. We have plenty of room here. You can follow me along. We have plenty of room to walk. You got room to eat if you want, because you can actually pull this out a little bit. Uh, you have access to your kitchen. Microwave opens up, no problem. All your drawers open up. Your refrigerator is going to open up enough to get in there. Same thing with the freezer. You can get into this cabinet. We'll come into the bedroom. The bedroom is going to be only a tricky part. 
you're going to have to kind of hop on if you want to get on the other side. You got the bed. We got a king size bed here. Um, but you can see there's plenty of room. When we went down, uh, we had a long trip to, uh, to Savannah and, and Florida, and I actually slept in that bedroom. It was a little bumpy, but uh, I slept in that bedroom while MJ was driving. You're also going to see this is the door for the, the bathroom. You see, you can come in. There's plenty of room to get in here. So, give you a little feel of what it's like when it's closed up. Give us a couple minutes. We're going to open up everything. And then you're going to see how this living space really looks when you're set up at camp. Hey, everybody, we're back. Uh, everything's opened up. I'm going to save that just for a couple minutes. Be patient. I'm going to start up in the cockpit area here. Uh, like I said, this is a Ford chassis. It's real simple, simple to maintain, simple to work on. The motor's been around forever. So that, that was one of the selling points for us. It was really the maintenance. Uh, in addition to the initial cost of getting a diesel, uh, the maintenance cost is significantly less for us. And since we're not full timers, although we're out a lot on here, um, having this Ford chassis, I can do a lot of the maintenance myself. So that was one of the, the reasons for us that we went with the uh, the gas Ford chassis. So I'm going to start over here on the passenger side. All flex steel um, upholstery, real nice, heavy duty, comfortable. I'm going to sit down on here. You have your armrest. You have an outlet here. So you got your 110 out, 120, 110 outlet, whatever it is, and uh, two USBs. You also have control for your lights here. And nice thing that MJ takes advantage of. Okay, nice desk right here. So if you got to work, somebody's driving, other person's on the computer. You've got your outlet right here and two USBs. Just note that this outlet is only going to run if the generator's on or if you're plugged into a shore power. You have a cabinet over here, a little bit of storage space. We just keep a labeler in there and a tripod and uh, some ponchos. We opted for the overhead television. Um, could work for some we, we like it because it gives us two different angles uh, we have this television and the other one set up to show the the same um, video input so what that means is basically it'll show the same thing on both tvs you can also set it up that one's playing one input the other one's playing the other input but that's how we have it set up basic cockpit over here ford uh, you can see it's very simple uh, you got your transmission here you have your equalizer system for the auto leveling uh, this does have auto leveling. You pull up to a site, hit power, emergency brake on, hit auto level, does everything itself. Beautiful. Because we're coming from, we, we came from a travel trailer and oh God, that was a nightmare. <laughs> that, was, that was a 45 minute job. This is like, we pull up and we're done in 10 minutes. It actually takes longer to open the slides and hook, hook your uh, power and whatever than it is to level, which is pretty awesome. Uh, everything else is pretty simple. You have uh, the, the gen start here if you want to start the generator. You can start it from outside, you can start it from inside the cabin. Battery boost, if for whatever reason my chassis battery is dead and I want to use the house batteries to, to essentially jumpstart uh, the chassis, I just hit that. It'll take all the power from those four batteries I showed you. Help me start up the rig. Have your overhead, um, overhead fans. So the way Newmar does them, I know you guys are familiar, the old class A's, you just see those fans, those big fans over here. Well, these are all boxed in. So basically we have those big fans where they're boxed in. Those overhead fans are simply to defrost the windshield. And then we have auxiliary uh, heater that is for the rear bedroom. If you're driving down the road and it's cold out, um, the heat from the chassis is not going to reach back there. So there's actually an auxiliary heater in the bedroom. You hit that on, it'll start blowing heat out the back. This switch here, this is for uh, the heating for the uh, mirrors. So that's a mirror heater. This will control your mirrors if you want to adjust them. And everything else is pretty simple. You have a uh, camera up here. Let's turn on the ignition. Remember I showed you the rear view camera? There it is right there. The other cool thing about it is if I hit the turn signal, well, if I turn this on, there we go. You're going to see I put the turn signal, it activates the outside cameras. So I can see down the side of the rig for any blind spots. Pretty simple. Head unit, very basic, it has Bluetooth. We also opted for the Ram McNally navigation and we did that. I know there's other options out there, there's the Garmin's, but I kind of like the clean look. Um, you input the specs of your rig, 
height, weight, width, and then it will navigate you on whatever roads allow you to be within those specifications. So for us, that that's, was kind of a no-brainer. Um, we don't want to have any surprises. It'll only take us where we can fit. We also have the Bluetooth um, Sirius XM option. Didn't even use it. I just stream off my, I'm a, a Sirius customer and I just stream via Bluetooth off my cell phone. I'll just show you over here. They have pull down shades. These are manual. Blackout shades. They're on both sides, driver and passenger. And then you also have power uh, windshield shade. So just a note, when the ignition is on, it will not allow you to pull the shade all the way down. It will only go down about halfway and then it cuts you off. Compartment over here, you have um, your readings for your fresh water tank, gray and black. You can see they're all empty. The LP is your liquid propane that right now is full for us. You have your awning, retract and extension. You could also do it from that remote that I showed you. Here's that step switch I told you about. You switch it one way, when you open and close that door, that those uh, steps are gonna go in and out. You switch it the other way, uh, you set up a camp, it overrides that step coming in and out. Doesn't matter which way the switch is switched, once you turn the ignition on, those steps are coming up, that's a safety mechanism. Uh, here are your slide controllers for the front uh, opposing slides, you got the offside and the door side. Battery disconnect, uh, when you're in storage, we uh, have shore power at home, but you can cut this off and it kind of helps with the parasitic drain. Here are inverters, we have two 1200 watt inverters because we have the residential refrigerator. So we have two inverters. And then here's your system control. It's gonna show you, uh, we're on 50 amp right now. If I unplugged it, it would show I'm on battery. And uh, if I hit the generator, it would switch over to generator. And then the uh, tank heating pads that I told you about, Turn that on, it'll start heating up the pads in that fresh water tank to keep that tank uh, warm. One thing to note, um, and the kind of a disadvantage over the diesels, our, even though this, this rig is very well insulated, our underbody, the cargo in there, is not heated. Uh, just note that um, if you're in really cold, cold weather, um, those heating tanks, uh, the, the heating pads will help that fresh water tank, but your, your plumbing underneath there may get frozen. So what we do, we keep uh, two uh, portable heaters on board and I'll just plug in down there and I've taken the temperature down there and it's been like 70 when it's 28 outside. I don't know how, it's gonna, how that would hold up if it was zero outside, but for our purposes, for us, it's worked just fine. We just keep those hot water, uh, those um, heaters down there and run them if it's even a chance that it's gonna freeze down there. So when you come around here, I'll give you a nice little open view so you can see it's a little different it's it's wide open now a lot of space in here mj loved two things she loved about this was the lighting which you can see because she loves lights and and the wide open space um, those opposing slides i don't know if you can get a feel for it but this is pretty this is pretty big i'm about six foot one i mean you can see just to give you i'm not like an nba wingspan but you can see how much space we have here so it's pretty nice. Uh, over here is your Dometic um, thermostat. Uh, two zones, front zone over here, zone two is the back. This will control everything in one. It controls your furnace, your heat pumps, your air conditioner. It's all controlled by right here. Let's come a little further. I'm gonna show you the cabinet. Storage is important when space is at a minimal. So we have uh, somewhat organized. Put some baskets in here. Try to keep everything organized. These bags here is this, um, you haven't met the other two members of our family. You know, we say we're a family of five. We've only showed you three so far, but we have two uh, four leg family members and this is their, these are their poop bags. So they come a lot with us. We'll be introducing that to you guys, the two, uh, our two pities in another video. So stay tuned for that. And here's Jason's goggles. We were looking for those, those goggles and sunglasses. <laughs> so we got some cabinets there. So the new Mars, at least the, the 3626, doesn't offer bunks. Um, it doesn't offer the overhead bunks either. So what we chose, we got uh, opposing couches and they're uh, jackknife couches. So here's your regular couch. That one has the uh, doggy cover on it. So when our, our two pities are with us, 
And then there's a little lever here. Pull that up, out, and there you go. You could fit probably, um, I don't think anybody over six foot, but it, it fits. It works for Jason, and whatever visitors come. And then you also have storage in the here. You can see I have some uh, linens and uh, covers under there. We also keep on board because there's so much room in here. And we almost don't even really use these jackknives that much because we have two full size um, air mattresses. And it, that kind of gives you um, a little bit to work with because they fit perfectly lined up length and width. They fit right here. So it's a pretty wide space. This side over here, you have another jackknife sofa. It's just a, a little shorter. Same as the one I showed you. Two ottomans. They both have storage and then they flip over to make a table, which is nice. Show you a cool thing. This this was cool. Get, get the camera over there. Show this. So you have you have a nice campsite. You got the window there. You have everything there. See with the Bose sound bar, we opted for that. It sounds great. But I'm gonna show you something cool. Hit this button over here, and magically, I think it's a 42 inch television. Um, the televisions are by Vizio. I know in 2020 they switched over to Samsung, but these work fine. Uh, the living room one is a smart TV. Doesn't matter for us, we run Roku. Uh, and that Roku is located in the front cabinet, but we run that, or we run, um, we have a Xbox One or whatever it is. We run that also, we wanna play Blu-rays. Pops up, nice workspace, uh, nice viewing angle. And if you're sitting down on this couch, you can view from here, and if somebody's sitting in the dining room, they can view straight ahead on that overhead, which works out really well for us. So you can see the overhead here, and you have that angle there. Works out awesome for us. Also, I, I forgot to mention, um, these seats here, both of them, I was going to demonstrate this one because I don't, I don't have to move this around, but basically, you turn these around, and this becomes part of your living space. The uh, passenger one has leg that kick out. This one does the same thing. It doesn't have the kick out in the leg. So again, you gain two extra seats um, in the living space, which is nice. Also, another thing Numar does, I haven't seen any of those, I have this little hand railing. Kind of makes it look residential, which just gives it a homely feeling. So like I said, we ordered this um, specifically from the factory. Color we got in here, we got the light, I don't know the exact name of it, but it's like a, a light oak color. Um, we like it a lot. We went with the all light inside and dark outside. Really bright. It's really nice. Um, the, the windows here, they have day shades. You want to pull down and then if you want to black everything out, and this does black everything out, get your nightshade. They're all manual, which means there's less to break. So. Over here, we have our, we didn't get a booth option. We went with the table option. And you can see this opens up. You can set it up that way. If you have more people, you can see it up to four in here. And you just pull this out. There's a leaf we keep under the bed. It goes in there. And there's also two extra folding chairs that they match this. They're under the bed. You can bring them out and you have uh, room for four. Drawers here, keep extra chargers because there's never enough of those. A lot of space. Push this back in. All right, and then over here, this was an option we got. It's a computer desk. So you pull this out, you have a computer desk you can set up here. You also have on the bottom, if you want to keep a computer, right now we just have this for uh, Instapot and some other or blender and whatever, but you can keep a computer and printer down there. All these windows here, they just turn, turn them and they open them out and they open up. Okay. So, these windows here, 
they lift up. I'm not going to do it, but you unlock them, lift up, and they lock in place. Over on this side, uh, real countertops is not a laminate. So these sink covers also double for extra counter space. It's stainless steel, stainless steel 50 50 sink um, with a residential type faucet, also sprayer. So we're not using the sink. Space is at a minimal, so you have to use as much space as, as you can. I told you about the water pump earlier. Here's the other one, other uh, switch, the one I said in the kitchen is right under here. So if you're on uh, on your tanks, you just hit that, it'll start to pump up. You also have an, an outlet under here, and you have control for the light underneath. Outlet here, outlet over there. You can look under storage, storage for sponges and other cleaning tools. You have under the sink storage, there's plenty of storage in there. And then you have drawers galore, which we don't even have, we haven't filled up with remotes. Four drawers, they do lock in place so when you're driving they don't open up. Plenty of space, keep all our utensils here. We're definitely gonna do a video on how to organize better, but we haven't figured that out yet, so <laughs> we will get to that. Whirlpool, residential microwave. Before I get to that, let me just show you the cabinet space right above the uh, sink. We keep these, uh, I don't even know what these are made out of, but there's some kind of plastic that don't, doesn't shatter. Have some baskets here, we keep bowls, some paper plates. This comes out when we're not driving. We have a toaster in here, another outlet inside. Whirlpool residential uh, appliances, that was an option we got. Um, there is no oven in here. It's a microwave convection oven, and this works really, really well. We just, can't, we just picked this up from the dealership because it's the warranty work, so things are out of place here. But uh, you have your trays here. We've baked stuff in there. It works really well. And then you have your stove top that's underneath here. So you have your regular countertop. And this falls over and you have your uh, three burner cooktop works fine most of the time we're either cooking outside on our griddle on our blackstone or we're using the uh, microwave oven but we've used this a couple of times it works fine okay whirlpool refrigerator oh before I, mj is giving me the signal to go somewhere else sorry <laughs> <laughs> so we have a nice cabinet here um, we don't carry that much food with us because we're, we're not going away for months at a time but we keep this as storage and there's a couple of mainstays that we have in here oatmeal and some other things but plenty of space in here if you want to store food underneath more storage space a lot of paper towels that's what happens when you have dogs and uh, Lysol wipes okay Whirlpool uh, residential refrigerator is an 11 cubic foot refrigerator I got the lock on it it does have a lock so you put this lock on when you're driving so your doors aren't swinging open slide the lock all right opened up we optioned for the ice maker you flip that on this thing is spitting out ice in 10 minutes and it doesn't stop so you got plenty of room here for uh, we the two-week trip we had we had that stuff no problem and then down below you have your refrigerator shelves are adjustable and then you have your produce tray below I'm take one of these waters because I'm getting hot excuse me okay above the refrigerator more storage really not using it for anything right now that's some uh, microfiber towels I like to keep this thing clean and there goes the water all right we have more storage space in here. All these slide out. This is all hardwood here. And we got one, two, three, four, five of exactly the same. You see one at the bottom are empty. 
And then over here we have one, two, three, four shelves of storage. Okay. Over here we have a little control panel. Um, this is a GoV thermostat. I'm actually going to do a video on how this was installed. Um, this is uh, wireless Wi-Fi and this will just monitor the temperature inside but what it does you can see it has temperature and humidity we have it set up it'll communicate it'll send us text messages and we could also go in and check it out our app if we leave the dogs alone in here we don't have an auto gen start that is an option that i'm looking to to put in but what this will tell us we have it set at 75 degrees if any if it goes to 75 degrees it will send us a text message We'll get an alert that's at 75 degrees. Now we set our thermostat at like 70. So if it's at 75, we know something's up. Either the air conditioning's not working or power went out. But that's the reason why we had is really for the dogs. Over here we have two fantastic fans, um, and these work really, really well uh, to suction out uh, venting if you're cooking. And even if it's a cool night, instead of using the air conditioning, you open up your windows, you throw on this fantastic fan, and this thing uh, really rocks here. Let me show you how this works. Oh, sorry, I didn't even know how to work this thing. There we go. It's opened up. There we go. So this thing pulls in a lot of air, a lot of air. So once you have those windows open, it's almost like having an attic fan. I'll shut that thing down. And the other good thing, we, we have um, fan vent covers over it, but there's actually a sensor in there. So if it starts raining uh, and that gets wet, it'll automatically close so you don't come home to like a puddle or pool in your, in your RV. This little piece of artwork came, a compliment of Numar. So before I go take you into the bathroom, I'm just gonna show you this space here we can get in here so we got it optioned um, washer dryer hookup ready uh, we're not full timers like I said we don't really need the washer dryer we'd much rather have the space at this point but it's already plumbed out and the power source is there if we want to put a washer dryer in the future we can get a stackable washer dryer it fits in here no problem right now we have it set up as a closet these um, rails come out and we just store everything in here as a closet. It's also light in here. We're pretty empty right now because we haven't we've been away, we haven't used it, but we'll be getting back on the road shortly. So let's come into the bathroom here, you can whip around. All right, so we got our bathroom here. This is the only thing that I wish was a little bigger. Um, it's tight in here. I'm not even gonna, you know, I'm not gonna lie about it. We had our travel trailer. We had a Jayco 33 footer. It had a bigger bathroom, um, but it, we make do with it. Uh, we have it's a regular uh, plastic insert. Nothing fancy. Um, changed out to an Oxygenetics uh, head. Works well. Haven't had any issues. We added a shower curtain. Not to spill everywhere. And then this slides shut as such. And it has a little lock for when you're traveling. This thing shut down. There's also a skylight over here. So I'm six, that's almost six one. Plenty of room in here. I could probably get uh, six three at least. If you're wide, I don't know if you're gonna fit in there, but if you're tall, you will. Medicine cabinet. Trying to figure out a way to organize this, but plenty of space of what we have in here. This is all MJ stuff, by the way. Yeah. None of this is mine. Uh, mirror and then we have a little setup here with toothbrushes stainless steel sink residential uh, style faucet you have a ceiling switch and the vanity switch here and then another water another switch for the water pump like I said so if you're on uh, on your tanks and overnight I shut the pumps off so I don't have any surprises if I need to use the bathroom whatever hit that on gets the pump on two outlets here these are GFI protected and then another fantastic fan which is above not going to turn that on. You saw how that works already. Small cabin in here. We got quite a few towels that we can fit in there. We roll them up. Towel uh, hanger. 
And then here are your boxes. You got your fuse box for your 50 amp shore power. Everything's fused off in the new Mars. Easy on breakers here. Um, chassis side things. Your fuses are there. Everything's labeled on this side. Everything's labeled. Okay, you have your toilet here. It's your basic toilet with a uh, foot pedal. And you have um, two, uh, one drawer here, another container we keep a garbage can, the storage over here. Everything's falling out on there. And then another thing Numar does, I don't know if other companies do it, but this is kind of cool. Not that it's really relevant to us, but if you have little kids, they actually make like a step drawer and then underneath is storage. And uh, see themselves in the mirror if necessary. Enough of that, let's get out of here, take it to the bedroom. But oh, one other thing, on the back of the door, there's a, a mirror and a hanger for towels. Close this up. All right. So in the bedroom, another big selling point for us here. Big bedroom. Um, in our our travel trailer, uh, we had no space. We were like jumping over each other. But here we have the uh, RV king bed, which means it's a little shorter than your normal king, but it's the same width. So uh, this works well for us. We have a king bed at home. It's hard to go back once you have that. Uh, sliding pocket door. I added a little lock on it. Just your regular uh, fish eye hook here. And then it locks into place. That way it won't move while you're driving. Here you have the controllers for the opposing slides. As you can see, those opposing slides really open everything up in here. Ceiling lights, decorative lights, turn it on. The decorative are running those LEDs, which is nice for nighttime. If you're watching TV, it's great. And then you have your ceiling lights if you want to blind yourself, that works too. So over here, underneath the, uh, there's switches here for reading lights, which is nice. And then you also have windows on each side. So you can see the windows, which is nice in the morning. You get to take in some sunlight, some sunlight. Overhead compartment. More storage, we keep the beach towels here, keep the manuals from Numar there. I'll show you on this side. More storage. Now, like I said, it is a king, it's an RV king. And I said it's a little shorter, but I'm, again, I say I'm six foot. I'm gonna pull myself up. And I'm well within here. So six one, six two, you should be fine. Plenty of room. Here's the auxiliary heater that I was talking about. I mentioned earlier, you flip that switch on, if you're laying down, it's cold out, that's gonna pump uh, heat in the back here. Another nice feature we have, uh, we have a rear window. You can see our yard here. It's great if you have a good campsite, you're backed into like a lake or you're, you're backed into somewhere where you have a nice scenic view. Open this up, it's great. And you have your double shades, your, day, your nighttime and your daytime shades. Another Vizio television here. We run this off our Roku, which is located in here. And then we also have a Blu-ray player, which uh, that came, where's your clock? That Blu-ray player came standard from uh, Numar. Or actually, no, that was an option. Then it comes standard. One, two, three, four, five drawers. They're all the same size, plenty of space for us. So this is pretty much my drawer. MJ gets everything else. <laughs> so guys out there, I think you, you probably know what I'm talking about. That's mine. Everything else is hers. Uh, big closet here. Plenty of space for everybody. Light. Oh yes, there's a light in here. As your light. Quick update. If you didn't watch my uh, mobile internet video, you should. Uh, but if you did, you will notice uh, that I moved the neck gear, the wireless, um, the booster, the Wi-Fi booster. I had it under the couch, 
But for whatever reason, I, I was getting like, it was cutting in and out. I, I think, I don't know what was going on, but it's worked a lot better here. So moved it there. It's been fine now. So let's move back up here. And there's a couple other things we have underneath this bed goes up more storage. Those are the two tables, the uh, two uh, chairs I told you about for the table and the leaf. And there's plenty of storage here. Also, I don't know if you can get down here. You can see this. There's uh, some hidden compartments in there. So you got storage right over here. And then you have, on each side, you have a little uh, cubby space. Uh, you have intake and return air conditioning vents up top. These are all LED lights. There's two smoke detectors. Um, I don't know what else to say. I could tell you we've been in here now. We've had this for since February of 2019. Uh, we have about 4,700 miles on it. This thing has been pretty solid. We've had a couple little warranty issues. I think they could have been resolved, but the place we've been taking it to, honestly, I don't think they know what they're doing. Um, they say they can't fix it. It doesn't seem like that's that difficult, but they've been very minor things and they're just Everything else has worked flawlessly. Uh, we're headed out to Newmar in September. Uh, hopefully we have these, these little nags worked out. I'm sure they'll be able to take care of it. But this thing has been great. It's been solid. Um, it's quiet inside. These air condition, if the air conditioners are running right now, I don't know if you hear them, but it's quiet inside. If there's noise outside, you don't hear it. And that's probably due to the build quality of Newmar and the heavy insulation that's in here. We were down in Savannah, Georgia. Uh, in early July, it was 95 to 100 degrees every day with a, a heat index of over 100, 105, 106. We were on um, a farm, which we also did a video on, if you didn't catch that. Uh, we had no trees around us, so that sun was beating down on us. We had the air conditioning in here at 72. It was never more than 72 degrees in here, and I know that because I had that, that other uh, thermostat that I showed you. So. This thing is well insulated and it works really well. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope maybe if somebody's out there looking for a new Mar Bay Star, if this is for you, it's it's been a great rig. Um, we love it and we're hoping to have it for a lot of years. So if you want to see some more videos, if you enjoyed this video, if you want to support us and you want us to keep keep making these videos, all those likes, subscriptions, the shares, that gives us the fuel that allows us to continue to make videos. And not only that, it allows us to spread our, our videos and our information to other people out there in the RV world. That's how we learned. And we just wanna give that back to, uh, to the community. So hit that subscribe button, like, share, comment, shoot us questions. I answer the questions right away. We appreciate your time. And for Mizzy and MJ, we hope to see you on the road.